The film starts with Teddy Jackson trying to make a video promoting his fitness ventures. He has elastic bands, a sweatsuit, and his attempt at non-contact boxing, but all of them are failures. Somewhere in the desert, an assassin known only as the man from Toronto arrives at a cabin to interrogate a suspect. Toronto gets ready to carve into the suspect with a hot knife, but the man becomes terrified and promptly gives up the information he wants. After Toronto leaves, the suspect is shot and killed by the man who called Toronto. Teddy is getting ready to celebrate his anniversary with his wife Lori. Although Lori loves Teddy, she is aware of his reputation as a screw-up, to the point that her co-workers refer to an error as Teddying things up. He sets up a romantic getaway at an Airbnb, but because of a low-toner situation, Teddy cannot quite make out the given address. Teddy goes to work where he meets with his boss Marty, who is annoyed with Teddy because he printed out flyers for their gym without an address or a phone number. While Marty likes Teddy, he has no choice but to fire him. Toronto returns home and begins preparing his breakfast when he is contacted by his handler. Although Toronto just wants to take it easy, the handler tells him that the next contract he has lined up is worth $2 million. Teddy and Lori arrive at the spa where he is treating her for their anniversary. After dropping her off, he heads to what he believes is the Airbnb based off the reservation he printed out. Due to misreading it, Teddy ends up at a cabin where Toronto is supposed to meet his target. The thugs in the house bring Teddy to the basement, under the impression that he is the man from Toronto. As Teddy realizes he has gotten himself into trouble, he attempts to calm their hostage, but the man is terrified and ends up giving the thugs the information they want. Moments later, a flash grenade is dropped into the basement, and FBI agents storm the house, apprehending all the men, including Teddy. Teddy is interrogated by two agents, who acknowledge that he is most definitely not the man from Toronto, but the agents need the man from Toronto to help them apprehend former Venezuelan Colonel Sebastian Marin. He attempted to stage a coup the previous year to overthrow the government but was stopped by U.S. intelligence. Marin and his wife Daniela managed to escape before they could be arrested. They want Teddy to continue to pretend to be the man from Toronto in order to get close to Marin and bring him down. The agents assign agent Santoro to look after Lori while Teddy is on the job, but he feels threatened because Santoro is suave and handsome. Teddy has to tell Lori that his absence is because he was called to a work conference since he didn't tell her he got fired. Santoro escorts her while she spends time with her friend Annie. Toronto finds out about the mix-up and is given Teddy's information by the handler. He finds Teddy's fitness ads and cannot believe that this is the man mistaken to be him. He tracks Teddy down as the agents bring him to meet with Daniela. Instead of meeting Marin, Daniela has her men take Teddy with them to a hangar. Toronto forces one of the agents at gunpoint to follow them. Teddy ends up on a plane heading to Puerto Rico. Toronto infiltrates the plane midair and reveals himself as the man they were looking for. Though they still believe Teddy is the real assassin, Toronto then proves himself by killing Marin's men and having to save Teddy after they both nearly fall out of the plane. They land in a field and start making their way out on foot after the plane explodes. The handler contacts Toronto and chastises him for not killing Teddy since they do not leave witnesses alive. Toronto tells Teddy they need to find someone named Mr. Green and bring him to Marin since Marin has already seen Teddy's photo, believing he is Toronto. On a golf course, another assassin known as the man from Miami shows up to beat his client with a golf club. He gets a call from the handler and offers him a contract to take care of the mess with Toronto. Miami agrees and then uses his golf club as a rifle to kill the other golfer who witnessed the scene. Toronto brings Teddy to a tech convention where they will find Mr. Green. He coaches Teddy on how to convincingly pretend to be him so they can find Green. Teddy is brought into a room with one of Marin's men while Toronto talks to him via an earpiece. Four captive men are presented, and Teddy has to interrogate them all to figure out which one is Mr. Green. He is given knives as a torture method to get them to talk, but he accidentally slashes one of the men's under his eye, causing it to bleed. Despite Teddy trying to hold back, he pukes on two of the men, and one of them ends up saying that he is Green. However, the main thug notices Teddy's earpiece and prepares to kill him, forcing Toronto to step in and kill the goons. He then cuts the thumb off Mr. Green and puts it in a bag. As the two try to make their way out of the building, Miami finds them and starts to go after them. He throws Teddy off the ledge, but he catches onto a decoration. Toronto and Miami fight as Teddy attempts to get himself down. Miami almost gets the thumb, but Teddy falls on top of him and Toronto knocks him out. Toronto then contacts the handler for an update on the situation. After hearing the conversation, Teddy believes that the handler is lying to Toronto. Teddy and Toronto head on a flight to Washington, D.C., where Toronto tells Teddy he knows that he is a screw-up just based on what he learned from him in person and by going through his video history of making his failed gym ads. When they arrive, Teddy contacts Lori, and they make plans to meet at a fancy restaurant, which the FBI is alerted to. Teddy brings Toronto along and starts to coach him on social skills. 
The two meet Lori, who also invited Annie. Toronto hits it off with Annie, but they have to cut it short when Teddy spots Miami arriving at the restaurant. Miami catches up to them in a closet, where Toronto fights him again and gets shot in the leg, and Miami takes the thumb. Teddy and Toronto keep moving and steal a cop car to catch up to Miami since he and the handler are going to meet with Marin. On the way to Marin's hotel room, Teddy asks Toronto about a job in Minnesota that keeps being brought up. Toronto explains that he was supposed to kill a man who owed gambling debts to the wrong people, but he stopped himself when he saw the man's kid. Toronto later regretted it because the man went on to commit a rampage. He says that when he finishes this job, he wants to open up his own restaurant and not kill anymore. At the hotel, Marin and Daniela meet with the handler in Miami. They find that the thumb that Miami stole to set off a bomb that will kill the Venezuelan president doesn't work, as Mr. Green was actually the main thug that did the interrogation. Teddy shows up and poses as Toronto, even though the handler tries to convince Marin that it's not him. The FBI show up and arrest Marin and Daniela, but the handler and Miami escape. Toronto ends up taking the payment that the handler would have collected. Teddy rushes back home to try and find Lori, but he only finds the house empty. She left him a message saying that she is going to her mother's house because she doesn't know what is going on with Teddy. Meanwhile, the handler begins to contact other assassins to go after Teddy in Toronto. The next day, Teddy learns Lori will be at the train station, so he runs there to try and catch her before she leaves. Miami finds Teddy and tries to kill him, but Toronto catches up and saves Teddy, saying that he didn't like the idea of Teddy dying. They are then confronted by the man from Moscow, the man from Tokyo, and the men from Tacoma. The guys run into Teddy's old gym, and Toronto kills all the assassins. They are cornered by Miami outside, but Teddy finds the courage within him to knock Miami out. The handler shows up and demands the money, which is in the trunk of Toronto's beloved car. After a chase where the handler fires grenades at Teddy in Toronto, they end up at a factory. The handler corners the two at gunpoint, but Teddy pulls a lever and drops the hander into a boiling hot vat where she burns to death. Toronto allows Teddy to take his car to catch up to Lori. Teddy makes it and apologizes to Lori for keeping things from her, and they reconcile. And then Toronto's car gets plowed by a train because Teddy left it on the tracks, causing all the money to fly away. And then Teddy gets tackled by the police. One year later, Teddy and Lori are expecting a baby. Toronto has opened his restaurant and is dating Annie. Teddy's no-contact boxing gym business has taken off, but Toronto still wants to kill Teddy for destroying his car. 